This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing on this one. Symmetry. You have learned to randomize things, but what if you want to randomize random shapes to be related in some way? Using a variable and experimenting with the math operators, plus minus times divide, can let you create effects like symmetry in your work. Butterfly wing patterns are naturally symmetrical. That's pretty cool. The drawing red spots are placed randomly, but the second spot is always the same distance from the right side of the screen as the first spot is from the left. Yeah, that would make it symmetrical. Do this. Study how the red spots are drawn. Lines 23 through 24. Okay. Note this subtraction is used. Use this pattern again to create a second yellow spot to give the butterfly better symmetry. Okay, so we have a first yellow spot here. All right, so I'm going to steal their idea or their example, I guess. And I'm going to go into drawing and then grab ellipse. All right, we have an ellipse. Oh, I should hit reset. We have an ellipse and it is. So they grab spot one here. What's spot one? Ah, spot one is a random number. Oh, and that's how they're making, making it symmetrical. So they use spot one here and say spot one's 50. Well, 50 would be here, right? That's 50 from the left side of the screen. Now, what number is X on the right side of the screen? Well, X over here is 400. So if I want it 50 away from the right side of the screen, then I would have to take 400 minus 50. I would add 50 to get it 50 away from the left side of the screen. I would subtract 50 to get it 50 away from the right side of the screen. So if my random number is 7, right, or whatever, I use spot one and say okay spot one is the x value for this one for this dot 400 minus spot one to make sure it's that far away from the right side of the screen is the x value for this spot great so now down here we can do 400 minus spot two okay and now what about here notice they did 25 25 well here they did 20 20 and then what do they do hmm well, they used 240, 240, so they used the same what? If you look at an ellipse, it yields x, y with height. So x, even though there's two spots here, that's still just x because it's going to be 400 minus spot 2. That's our x value. So, yeah, that would make sense. They need they need to have the same y value if they're on this in the same spot. So my y value, 140, 140, and then let's do 20 and 20. Reset run. Oops. There we are. Okay. As a challenge, create a third variable, then add two more ellipses. Cool. We can definitely do that. So we already know how they're doing this. So I'm going to just grab a variable and, you know, shockingly name it spot three. And then I'm going to do random number just like they have. I'm just typing it. And I'm going to do 40 comma 100. Oh, there's our huge. Okay. 4150, I guess. Boom. Now here's spot three. And what I'm going to do then is go all the way down here. Let me reset. I'm going to show text for a sec. And since it's going to be very similar to these first two, I'm going to command C, command V, slash, slash, show text, show blocks. And now I want to change the color, right? This is a different spot. So uh, maybe, do we have a red one? We have a red one. We have a yellow one. I'm going to do a blue spot. And all I need now is spot three, except this isn't good enough yet. It's going to cover up the other. Reset run. Right? So that's going to cover it up. So let's give some variability here. So I don't know, 200, 30, 30, 200, 30, 30. Ta-da! Beautiful. <laughs> Awesome. Random numbers are really helpful in general in programming. Let's keep going.